And this here is um, bread seed poppy. I also started from seed. It's May 7th. Bread seed poppy, May 29th. Bread seed poppies, June 11th. It's June 22nd, and I was just going to show you pictures of the um, how the bread poppy seeds are doing. I just think these are so beautiful. The flowers do not last long, and then these are the seed pods that are right here. And when the wind hits them gently. I just think it's so pretty. I think it's like it should be in the water instead of on the land. Today is July 5th and um, I just wanted to show you what the bread seed poppy looks like. I'm sorry about the neighbor's dog barking through this, but you can see there's only one bloom left, and all of them have the seed pods on them. And I'll just be waiting for when they just, the seed pods just start to open. July 24th, and this is the bread seed poppy. Okay, I just um, shook some of these and the seeds are coming out. So we're going to go, I'm going to go ahead and harvest these. It is uh, July 27th. I now understand what they mean by starting to open. Here's a few green ones. See how close the top is to the pod? In these you can see that the pod is below. There's a gap there and then that's where the seeds come out. So I've lost a lot of seeds. Next time I'll pick them when they just start to turn brown. And this is um, this is the container I put the pods in when I was cutting it off the plants. And so far this is how much I've um, gotten from the pods. And there's probably like a thousand or more out there in the area on the ground. Okay, I thought I would show you how I was getting them out of the seeds out of the pod. I just cut the tops off carefully. Do a little shaking. And then I crush the pot a little bit. So I'm just going to set these through and the seeds should go through and the pieces of the pod should stay in the sifter. I think that worked pretty good. So that's how I do the bread seed poppy and if you have a better way please let me know.